Hey, what's up you guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I just want to show you how to personalize or customize your iPhone. So this will just show you a little bit of how to personalize it and kind of make it your own. Uh, first I'm going to show you how to change your wallpaper here. If you're just at your home screen like this, you can actually go into settings, wherever your settings app is, let's get out of this, and then go down to wallpaper right here. And then just click right here. Um, you don't have to click on either one, this is one big button. Click on that. Now you can either choose something from your camera roll or from your wallpaper. So let's see, we can just go to camera roll or wallpaper and you can choose one. And let's just choose this one right here. So wallpaper preview. Now you can press set and it'll say set as lock screen or set as home screen or set as both. Depending on which one you want to do will depend on what it sets obviously. You can set it as home screen, lock screen or both. So let's just choose home screen. Saving photo. So now when we go to the home screen, our background is totally different now. So we have this new background that I just set. And the obvious way to change it back, you can go back into wallpaper, pick the one that you want, set, set as home screen. There you go. That's how to change your wallpaper, you guys. Now let's learn how to set a ringtone on your iPhone here. So if you go into settings here, I'm just going to be back in the general part of settings right here. If you go to sounds, then you can go to, you can turn on vibrate and you can set the ringtone, your text tone, your voicemail tone, your new mail tone, sent mail tone, tweet tone, alerts, and your lock sounds on or off and your keyboard clicks on or off. So we can go set our ringtone here, we can change it to whatever, I have this, I have this old phone ringtone, which, which is that right there. Uh, we can set it to robot. I mean, so, you kind of have a bunch of different options there to set as ringtones, but you can also do the same for text tones here. Uh, you can set different text tones, like you've heard this one maybe, that, or we can set it to whatever you want. You can set all your alerts right here in sounds. So in case you didn't know where to find that at, this is where you can change all those. And you can also turn up and down the volume of your ringer alerts and sounds. Now this is independent from your actual uh, volume on your phone for like movies and stuff. This is specifically for ringed ringers and alerts. So when you have it set, you can you can set it to change with buttons. Now if you have it set to change with buttons, let's turn that off. Now this will just control my volume for like games and movies. If you set it to on, it'll control your ringtone volume by using that button. As you see, it's going up and down and it'll only control games and movies and music and stuff when you're in the specific app application playing those games or movies. Here's another cool thing to do. If you want to move icons on here, you guys, um, you might not know how to move these around. You can arrange these in different places if you want. If you just long press on one of them and then just move it like up, like up there, you can drop it over there. I want this one in the corner over here. So you can kind of arrange them just like that when they're wiggling like that. Now to get them to stop wiggling, all you do is hit your home button and then they lock into place and then the, you, they can't be moved until you long press on them again and make them wiggle. So that's how you do that. Also, if you want to put icons in different folders, you don't have to have all these like all, you know, all over your home screen like that. You can actually press on it, long press till it wiggles. And if you take one and drag it over another one, it'll make a folder for, for it. So you can actually put all different icons in different folders and you can change the name to those folders that you create. So this is entertainment. If I click the X right there, I can add in um, fun things. There you go. And then, so now that's called fun things, as you can see right here, fun things. So that's how you create a folder. And another cool thing to know about your new device is how to kill apps. Basically, if you leave apps running on your phone, it's going to decrease your battery time and you're gonna run out of battery a lot quicker. But if you double tap the home button right here, It'll pull up this little app drawer, and that's basically all these apps that are running right here on my phone. So to close them, again, long press, they'll start wiggling, then click the little red minus sign right there. And you can actually just close out apps that you're not using in order to save battery power. That will help your device perform better, and it'll save you a little battery time. So there you go, guys. That's just some quick tips on how to set up or customize your iPhone and get you used to the whole atmosphere of iOS in case you've never used an iOS device before. So thank you guys very much. I hope this was helpful. Please thumb up and comment below if this was and click this button right here and subscribe. 
Also, our Twitter link is here. Meep. Facebook link is here. Meep. Thank you very much, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a good day.